Besides being a very powerful tool for raising consciousness and meditation, what significance does it, you know, what planetary significance? Obviously, there's some galactic powers or some wondrous thing that's going on with this lingam that's beyond just teaching people to meditate. There are various dimensions to it. If people have the necessary awareness to look into it, it is… it's everything that you want to know about life, isn't it? It is not in terms of, see, don't understand if something is encrypted into it, that's not the way it is. Everything that is life is happening from some certain fundamental energy, which you can very easily give it a name and forget about it. You can call it God and live it. It's very child, childlike to come to that conclusion. That energy which is the basis of life, how it is going about creating life everywhere, that energy is in a certain manifesting mode there. So if one has a necessary awareness to look into it, everything that's worth knowing about life is right there. It is not even there, it's right here within you. You are a linga with seven chakras, you know. It is just that you as a linga has not, have not risen to your highest vibrance, that's all. You are functioning at a low mode. If you push this up to the height, you are a living linga yourself, nothing else. If your energy is raised to a certain pitch, your energies will naturally take the form of ellipsoid. So, it is not even necessary that you have to go there, it is right here. But because this is right now not in a functioning mode, you go somewhere else where it's in a functioning mode. Another dimension why it is created is, very few people get the fortune of doing sadhana in their guru's presence. Not everybody will get that. So the linga gives you this opportunity, it's like a living person, except for the physical body, everything is there. It's like the highest possible being sitting there, in his presence you can do the sadhana. And he is not limited to any time and space. Wherever you are you can manifest it, you don't have to visit the linga. There are so many people who are experiencing this wherever they are and then they come. It is not necessary, it has to be in that space. Because you are so limited, your sense perceptions and your thinking and all this, your physical presence becomes important. Otherwise, no. If you are open to it, wherever you are it is.